Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having around all the responsibilities they have in their professional and personal lives. Your spiritual life is always something that is on a back burner. A lot of times by the time that Saturday or Sunday roll around when we have services at different types of organizations around town that are producing concepts of religion or spirituality is that too many people are just plain tired. They're also plain lazy, and if you live in a town that has a marvelous bus system, they might not even produce a bus early enough for you to get to church, of which is a total dereliction of duty by that bus company. You see, the reason that churches are starting to fold in some small communities is that they don't have the right pastor, they don't have the right producing love in the world for Jesus or whatever the heck is represented in that organization. In life, we have moments in time to speak about the love of God. And the love of God is well articulated in every way in the world. In every work on God, it is very clear that God provides you the soul that goes in your being. That being can have defects. That being can have heart attacks. That being can have cellular degeneration. That being will age. And that being, that humanness, that body of yours is a part of genetics and a part of challenges, not all, but some from the Lord. Humans impact that physical being, and that is true from the birth canal all the way through life and the choices you make of who you play with, who you lay with, who you stay with, and who you present yourself to. But what I'm talking about is the lessons of God. The love that the Lord provides you are both the loving opportunities and blessings, but also the lessons of God in his rebuke to your life when you make a mistake, mistake, when you choose the wrong path, when you choose the wrong person, when you choose the wrong lover, and that is the lessons of the Lord to take away today. That every choice you make that doesn't involve God in the decision could put you on the right path or the wrong path, depending on what you choose to allow to guide you. The angels assigned to you at birth are always with you, but whether you choose to access them, listen to them, and say, okay, I can't find this, can you please send an angel around to help me find it, or I need help with this, Lord, can you please send me an angel to help me with this, then you get access to your angels. But every day we praise the Lord, every day we have opportunities to worship Him and her, and every day we have the right to say, Jesus is in, ch is in charge of my life, but I'm going to love on you because that is right. You see, the lessons of the Lord come in both loving kindness and in abuses when you fail the Lord and his principles. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth on God, and these are the simple truths provided in every work on God from around the world.